everyone. This is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com. Hey, if you need help with your workflow or your file organization, please check out my free video series available on my website. A friend of mine recently sent me this photograph. So for this week's Q&A, what we're going to do is remove the cold sore from her lip. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the Mac. That's Command Plus. On the PC, that's Control Plus. And we can see the blemish. And we're going to go from this original to that hopefully pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and jump over to our layers palette. And the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this background layer with a command J that's control J on the PC. And I tried a few different methods to tackle this problem. And what I landed on was the patch tool. So you can go ahead and access the patch tool by clicking it over in your toolbar or pressing J. The thing is the patch tool is buried. So if you were on the spot healing tool, they all use the keyboard shortcut of J, but but in order to access one that is buried, you simply press shift. So if I hold down shift and press J, you'll see it cycling through those tools. And there we have our patch tool. We're going to make sure that source is checked in the tool options bar. And then what I'm going to do is click and drag around this blemish, leaving a tiny bit of space on the outer edge. When I let go, I've formed a selection. I'm going to place my mouse inside of that selection and click and drag over to kind of match the other part of her lip. And the nice thing is, is Photoshop gives you a preview so you can kind of see where that line is falling. And when you let go, it will replace it. I'm going to go ahead and do a command D to deselect. That's control D on the PC. And that looks pretty good but I noticed there are some integrity issues beyond the lip. So what we're going to do is use the clone stamp in order to address that. So when I'm doing something like this, I like to do it on several different layers so that I can isolate my changes and I want a new layer. So rather than coming into the layers palette and clicking this, you can simply press command shift N that's control shift N on the PC, but when you do that, it asks you this question, hey, what do you wanna name it? And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I'm just too busy for questions. <laughs> so I'm gonna click cancel, and I'm gonna bring some life to this party. We're gonna hold down Command, Option, Shift, N. That's Control, Alt, Shift, N on the PC. Pretty much every modifier key, plus the letter N. And what that will do is give you a, a new layer, no questions asked, and I love that. Okay, and then I'm gonna press S on my keyboard in order to get my clone stamp. I don't wanna clone this at 100% opacity, but I'm not gonna use opacity to affect this change. Actually, what I'd like to focus on is flow. Okay, so what is the difference? Opacity controls the intensity of the application of the clone stamp, and flow controls the rate at which it is applied. If you lower your opacity, it's kind of like your upper limit. That's as high as you can get. But with your flow, when you lower your flow, you can build it up. So what I'm going to do is drop this flow down to about 30% or so. And I'm going to make my brush just a tiny bit bigger with my right bracket key. I can see that it has a soft edge in my tool options bar. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on the keyboard to select a source. So I'm going to click right about here and I'm just going to brush over that area. And then I'm going to Alt or Option click here and brush over that area. So I'm just trying to get rid of some of that redness. And I'm going to turn that layer off and then on. And that's looking pretty good. I notice a little bit more on this side. So let's go ahead and take care of that. A quick way to see your overall before and after in Photoshop is to hold down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard and click the visibility icon to the left of the background layer. That will turn all of your other layers off and all of them on. I think that looks pretty good. Keeping in mind, I'm zoomed in at 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. That's Command minus, Control minus on the PC. So we can see this entire photo. And that was maybe a little bit too much. Let's zoom in one more time. All right, twice. And I'm going to hold down Alt or Option and look at my before and after. And I think that looks great. I'm really happy with this change. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.